New tonight, we're seeing more damage from today's strong winds. Dennis Canario sent us this photo from the Whispering Pines campground in Hope Valley. He says the winds brought down a 60 foot pine tree, crushing a two year old camper. The tree went right through the bedroom. Fortunately, no one was inside at the time. Anytime you see news or weather happening, please send us a photo or video to report it at WPRI.com. And now to that massive toppled tree we told you about at the top of the newscast. We're told it's a sacred tree to the Wampanoag tribe. The wind taking down the historic Council Oak in Somerset. And it wasn't the only victim to tonight's strong gusts. 12 News reporter Sheena Loshuto has a closer look at the impact the wind had tonight and the damage it left behind. Sheena? Well, that historic tree in Somerset, it wasn't small. When you take a look at the stump in just a little bit, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Residents in the area say it's been there for hundreds of years, and just in the short time we were there tonight, we saw several people drive by to take a look at it. The Council Oak, known as the legendary center of Somerset, crashes down Friday as winds pick up in southern New England. Yellow tape surrounds the historic tree outside St. Thomas More Church on Luther Ave. The church says it's used as a meeting place for the Wampanoag tribe and is sacred, now knocked over as Mother Nature moved through. 12 News captured similar aftermaths in East Providence. A tree toppled over on top of a group home on Arcadia Avenue. An employee there says the building is safe, but there's a lot of cleanup ahead, something Steve Simmons in Lincoln can relate to. <sighs> it's a big mess to clean up. He lives off Harris Avenue in Lincoln off Route 246. The house started shaking, the wind started blowing. Two uprooted trees blocked traffic there for quite some time. I heard the ground shake. My wife looks at me, I looked at her. We uh, just ran outside and took a look, and uh, if you can see over there, we got two huge monster pine trees down. Simmons says he lost power right away and is now planning to clean up the debris. The fire brigade came pretty quick, so shout out to them. And thankfully, in all the areas we checked out tonight, there were no reports of any injuries. Now, as always, as we cover these big weather events, National Grid has a reminder for you. If you see any downed power lines, stay away from them and just report them to the authorities. I'm Sheena Loshudo, 12 News.